College? Classic? Did you say college? Classic cameras? Well, sure show you did. We're reading Dr. Erwin Munzer's God's Devil, forwarded by R.C. Sproul, and we're in Chapter 9, Fear. The fear of witnessing for Christ's experience is so natural that we often think that Satan would have anything to do with it, right? Wrong. As we read throughout the candlesticks, we're finding that something's going on here. You see, <clears throat> a lot of people think the candlesticks are just because it's the end of the world. God's calling them. It's not like that. They're being killed. And they're being killed in a way that it looks like they're naturally dying, and it's God's judgment against them. Ephesus, killed. Smyrna, killed. Pergamum, killed. Thyatira, killed. What were they killed for? What did they die for? Adultery, sodomy, fornication, worship, uh, idolatry. So when we get to uh, Sardis, he says, uh, A few will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. When we read the seals of these candlesticks, we find out, or these lampstands, we find out, or even the candlesticks, we find out that... Uh, they give them white garments by this time and told to rest. Because they're screaming out, we've been killed. We've been killed. When are you going to have vengeance upon the inhabitants of the earth who killed us? They're inhabiting in my flesh and my home, making love to my wife, perhaps even, or my husband. Raising my children. I don't want my children raised like that. Well, what do you mean, raising my children? Paul and Thyatira and Pergamum, we're told that uh, the prostitute teaches her servants to commit adultery and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Oh, that's not possible. Come on, I'm just joking. No one takes on your appearance. No. Ezekiel 1, they can't take on your appearance, right? Job, right? One devil can't come down and do that. He can't go up and down and two and four of them. The earth, the canvas, causes us to even want to stop what might be true. From anybody recognizing what is true, scared to death of it. Something like that would cause world war. I don't think living so bad this way it couldn't be that bad. It's going to get worse. The fear of witnessing for Christ. Uh, Satan will not have anything to do with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he goes up throughout the candlesticks. So you're going to see him in Philadelphia. He's going to be the pastor out there. I bow down and worship the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Elizabeth. I'm Pastor Damascus, and I want you to worship the Lord. Come on, right now. Come up here, everybody. Worship the Lord Jesus Christ. Right before me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Face off. Face off. But <laughs> yeah, interestingly, before Peter denied that he knew the Savior, Christ explained and Simon. Simon, Simon Peter. Behold, Satan has demanded to have you that sift you like wheat. <laughs> oh, he's going to be sitting right there with the lynchings. Satan. Natural and actually helpful to our survival. We should fear driving too fast or crossing the streets without looking. The fear of being mugged reminds us of to be careful at night. Um, we all fear sickness, poverty, death, frightening childhood experiences can lead to rational fears. You know, there are a lot of things that will, um, how do you say, 
coming this year, too. I didn't say that, did I? No. Could I have a B8? <laughs> okay, so, uh, but there are those fears that are exaggerated, paralyzing, <laughs> and controlling. We do not have to be paranoid to be bound by fears that simply are unwarranted. Paranoid, Ozzy. Ozzy, do you think he had, he was fears at all? Paranoid, Ozzy. Oh, okay, so uh, right, <laughs> right. Okay, okay, so. Frightening childhood experiences can be okay. So, exactly, uh, unwarranted, or for the matter, there are fears that might be real enough, but they do not need to control us. Right? Christ, for example, said that we need not even, not even, not even yet. I can see the airplane coming. In. Hey, mom. A fear those who destroy the body, but rather are to fear him who can destroy the body and the soul in hell. Right? 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 <laughs> so, uh, Matthew ten twenty eight. For paralyzes and fear paralyzes those who give themselves to it. And John wrote, "Fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has left the perfect in love." First John four eighteen. Uh, fear cast out. Love cast out fear, for he who fear will not be made perfect in love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. If we really feared God, we would have to fear very little. Let's, let's call it to class of campus. That's M2C bar. That sounds right, isn't it? Right? Right? <laughs> 